Today we're going to be working in the Excel Finance Calculator we've created in earlier lessons. Today's example is going to be adding in a miles per gallon calculator under our car payment calculator. To do this we're going to need to move around some of the information we've inputted from earlier lessons. What we can start with is by creating enough space below the mortgage calculator to move in the affordable home calculator. So what I'm going to do is highlight each of these rows and I'm going to right click insert a couple of times to make sure we have plenty of room to adjust. Okay, now we're going to drag and select the entire affordable home calculator and if we come up to the top edge of the selection box we should be able to click and drag exactly where we want to place this. And I do not recommend putting it right up next to the other uh, formulas that we've created earlier in case we need to get in there and add another line or something and it, it just keeps it simpler and a little bit neater with, with formatting. So we're going to, in our case, put this in at about B11. Okay, we're release. And later if we need to, we can delete some of this space right here to pull the monthly bills up below it. But again, for right now, <clears throat> what we're trying to do is create a miles per gallon calculator. So we'll go ahead and label it as such. Okay, and if you can recall from earlier lessons, there's a way to copy the formatting without having to do it each time. If you just select your source cell, click the Format Painter button, and then come down and click where you want to apply that. Okay, miles per gallon is exactly as it says. You would have your numbers of miles, and then you'd have your numbers of gallons, and that's your numerator and denominator, and the division between those two gives you a number that is your miles per gallon. So in our case, let's go ahead and label miles. And gallons. And so if we come over here on a typical vehicle, like maybe a newer Prius, you might get about 400 miles on about 9.5 gallons. And so you'll notice right away that we still have some formatting uh, left over from uh, when we selected this entire column as dollar amount. So what we're going to need to do is drag and select both of these and we're going to come up into the uh, number format ribbon and from the drop down we're just going to go to the general formatting for this. Okay, and that's truncated off uh, all of the extra information nicely. Now what we want to do is do the division. So the formula, as I said before, is going to be miles in the numerator, gallons in the denominator. So the way we'll do that is we'll press the equal sign and we'll select our miles, 400, divided by our gallons, which is 9.5 in this case. And then we're going to press the Enter key and it's going to return our result in miles per gallon. Okay, and you'll notice again it still has that entire column's formatting in dollars. So what we'll do is just select on a formatting that we like, and then we're going to click there to apply it. So that's our source cell. is going to be the gallons in this case. We'll come up, we'll click the Format Painter, and then we'll click Apply. Now, you'll notice there's way too much precision for what we need, and our precision so far in our measurements, we're only to one decimal, so it would be unlikely we would have the precision of all of these decimals. So what we'll do is come up to the number uh, tool right here, and we're going to decrease the amount of decimals. We're going to click it once, twice, click it a few times, and let's get it all the way down to one decimal accuracy. And you'll see in this example, we've now calculated that based on these inputs, the miles per gallon is 42.1. So Staying consistent with the other parts of the formula, we wouldn't want to type over this if we're making changes to the to the sheet later. So what we'll do is we'll select uh, the 400 and the 9.5 and we'll get those into a yellow formatting. So it's actually be similar to this number of months car payment calculator formatting. So we're going to come up to the format painter and we're going to paste that down for each of those two cells. And that completes this lesson for your miles per gallon calculator.